With cell phone dangers getting so much attention, it's easy to forget about an often worse EMF fender, the cordless phone. When it comes to cordless phone versus cell phone radiation, you're about to learn why the cordless phone is usually more harmful for your health and what options you have for keeping your landline without all the EMF, electromagnetic field, danger. Why is cordless phone radiation more harmful? Well, having a cordless phone is like putting a mini cell tower in the middle of your home that's sending out EMF 24-7. Wi-Fi routers and baby monitors are also like mini cell towers. You see, cell phones are smart enough to throttle back their EMF radiation while not in use, but most cordless phones are going full blast all the time. And this can become a real health risk for those who spend a lot of time in the home, causing effects that range from insomnia and in the worst cases, cancer. Imagine walking around the house on a call with your Aunt Jane for hours on end, holding the Wi-Fi router right against your head. Sounds ridiculous, right? But that's exactly what you're doing when you use your cordless phone. And it's sending those signals straight through your brain. Harmful effects of cordless phone EMF. Dr. Magda Havas has been petitioning the Canadian government for over a decade to ban cordless phones using Digital Enhanced Cordless Telecommunications, DECT, technology. DECT uses the more harmful higher frequencies, up to 6 gigahertz, and her studies and others show some of what can happen when you overexpose yourself at certain distances to cordless phones. Problems with children's memory, attention and motor function, 2.8 meters or 9.2 feet, disturbed sleep, 1.7 meters, 5.6 feet, increase in adult leukemia, 45 to 130 centimeters, 1.5 to about 4.5 feet, increase in childhood leukemia, 35, between 35 to 260 centimeters, 1.1 to 8.5 feet. Impaired memory, 30 centimeters, about 12 inches. Any distance closer than 25 centimeters or 10 inches, immune system disruptions, reduced REM sleep, dropped insulin levels, and pathological changes in the blood-brain barrier. Hopefully you're now starting to think about your own life and where you and your family might be affected by EMF. Poor sleep, brain fog, and ADHD are just the tip of the iceberg here. Several studies link cancers like glioma, the most common form of brain cancer, to EMF radiation. Those studies dealt primarily with cell phone radiation, but cordless phone radiation is in the same family, emitting just as much, if not more, EMF. Take action today by following these simple steps to reduce exposure to cordless phone radiation before life gets in the way. Here are some tips for reducing radiation exposure from cordless phones. Your best option? Trash your wireless phone. Buy a corded phone. If using a corded phone isn't an option for you, then these additional tips will still help. And FYI, many families are also ditching Wi-Fi and using wired internet to create an EMF sanctuary in their home. Tip number one, create distance. EMF exposure increases dramatically the closer you are to the device. Holding your phone 25 centimeters or 10 inches from your body reduces your EMF exposure by 10,000 fold. Move your base station away from areas where people spend a lot of time, especially bedrooms. Unplug during the night and when not in use. You can even get an inexpensive electrical timer to do it for you. And the same goes for your Wi-Fi for turning it off. You can get a wired headset and keep the cordless phone away from your body. Buy a 900 megahertz cordless phone or use a low EMF Eco Mode Plus cordless phone. 900 megahertz cordless phones, you'll also hear these called analog, that's the frequency range they're within. These are the original cordless phones and operate at the safer EMF frequency of 900 megahertz. But as with any wireless signal, take caution and follow these tips to lower your EMF exposure. Most cordless phones today use the DECT technology, but there are some 900 megahertz options out there and they usually cost between $30 and $90. One is the Clarity W425 900 MHz cordless phone, and there's also the General Electric 900 MHz cordless phone. They have the caller ID and call waiting, but they will lack some of those features. These are like the original cordless phones. Now let's talk about low EMF cordless phones and EcoMode Plus cordless phones. These phones use DEC technology, but they have an Eco Mode where they emit little to no EMF while not in use, often called a sleep or standby mode. You'll still have the high EMF exposure while on the phone, so it's really a great option if you don't use your phone much. There aren't many of these phones in the US yet because they originated in Europe where consumers have been advocating devices with safer EMF levels. The first to hit US markets is the Siemens Gigaset cordless phone and is a great option with its Eco Mode Plus, remember that plus, and typically costs 
25 to 50 dollars. Here are two specifically that offer Eco Mode Plus. There's the Gigaset C610A L410 cordless phone, has a hands-free clip, and the Siemens S3085252 H2252 R301 A510 handset telephone cordless. <laughs> It's a ridiculous name, but that'll help you find it. Just warning, other phones state that they have an eco mode to increase the battery life, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will reduce EMF exposure from the base station. So if it doesn't state it specifically in the specifications, eco mode plus with no radiation power consumption of 0.4 watts, you know, something like that, the no radiation thing, then be sure to contact the retailer or use an EMF meter to verify. In summary, the EMF radiation emitted by cordless phones, cell phones, Wi-Fi routers, smart meters, electric poles, list can go on, is an invisible health hazard. The time is now to make an informed decision about what you are going to do about it. All that EMF in your life before it's too late. Simple daily steps will make a big difference. Start by swapping your cordless phone for a corded one. If circumstances require you to have a cordless phone, do everything you can to minimize your exposure and improve your health by following the tips outlined in this video. And P.S. Two of the most sensitive areas to EMF are the eyes and the testes. Several studies have found EMF to cause sperm motility and potency issues resulting in fertility problems. So be especially careful to keep EMFs away from these areas. For more information on keeping your family safe from EMF, join us at emfsafefamily.com. Feel free to subscribe here on our YouTube channel, watch more videos, and leave comments below and questions you have. We are happy to help, and hopefully we can help you have a really safe and healing home. Thanks, and we'll catch you later.